Okay, welcome back. And so what, uh, let me just give you a quick recap. So we, what we just talked about um, in the last segment was giving you an overview of risk management, what this course is all about. And remember, the primary outcome is to have risk and trade management mastery so that you can become a professional trader for life and get those consistent results that everybody wants to get. And in order to do that, the first step is mastering risk. And so that's what we're gonna cover in this segment. And so mastering risk. Trading knowledge, including technical analysis, strategies, chart reading, pattern recognition, they're all critical. Getting educated on technical analysis and what behavior patterns show up again and again and again and again in a market is really important for a trader. However, or but, alone they will not make you a successful trader. It is just a fact. And so the reason I am stressing this so much is that when people first get into this industry or this business, their immediate thinking is that I need to learn everything that I can about the market. Because if I can learn as much as I can about the market, that is what will make me successful. But here's the challenge. The challenge is, is that the market is an unlimited environment that has so many unknown variables that there is just possibly no way that you can learn your way to beat the market. It's just not possible. And so it is important to understand the market and recognize patterns in chart readings and strategies and analysis. But you need to add one very critical piece to the puzzle, which is this. You must become that master of risk management. And that's what will break you through to the professional level of trading. So again, understanding the market, educating yourself the market is important, but not the most important thing. It must be coupled with being a risk manager. So let me ask you this question. Have you ever found yourself having a nice streak of winning trades and making money, and you start to feel good, and then in like one or two trades or one or two weeks, you give all of those profits back and you then start to feel really not <laughs> great or depressed or frustrated or overwhelmed or just mad or angry. Well, I truly know that the answer for everybody is of course. Of course that's happened to me, it's happened to me, it's happened to every trader who's ever entered into this business. And here's the thing, the reason that happens is most often in the early stages when people start to trade, their focus is on making money. Their focus is on you know, taking what they've learned, all of those strategies and technical analysis, and then trying to apply it to the market to make money. And you, know, you get a streak of winning trades, you're feeling great, then you start to think that it's, this is easy, I can do this no problem, and then you start to change the way that you've made those money on those previous trades and get reckless, and then give it all back in one or two trades. And so I'm going to share with you this kind of pyramid of trading success. Um, and it, and I, I came up with this because um, I, I kind of went through how I started off with my trading and then how um, my mentor kind of recognized how my trading had gone before I was able to turn it around and become consistently profitable. And so uh, when I started trading, my outcome was to just do a really good job, like, like I talked about in a previous slide, like I want to learn about the market because if I learn about the market, then I can beat the market. And so I was doing this like good job, which I thought. However, you know, at the end of 12 months, I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted. I was well, what I called it break even because that's what I used to tell my wife so that she would continue to let me trade. But the truth of the matter was is that I was losing a little bit of money with you know, commissions and fees and all of that stuff. And so what I learned is that by doing a good job, you don't even get good results. You get poor results. Doing a good job, really in anything in life, in trading included, you get poor results. And so I started to then say, well, okay, well I just need now to do a great job. So I started to focus a little bit more on learning more things, more indicators, applying a little bit of risk management, trade management. And so I started to do a great job and I saw my 
results improve a little bit. But then again, I fell back into that comfort zone, that recklessness, and I gave all of that money back again. And so I started to do this great job thinking that if I did really a great job with something, then I would get great results. But see, in life, it doesn't work that way. Or in trading, when you do a great job, you get poor results. It's just the way it works. You don't even get great results for your great work. You always default to the, to the, to the next level below in the pyramid. And so, I finally decided that that was it. I am gonna now do an excellent job. And so I actually spent a good deal of money and time and I hired a mentor, a coach, because I wanted to do excellent. I said, okay, I'm now starting to understand the market, I'm starting to apply some risk and some trade, and I, I'm like, I'm, I'm doing okay. Like, you know, I, I've seen, like I feel like I'm so close. Like, have you ever been there where you felt like you were so close that you were just like one missing piece away and then yet you would be consistently profitable? And so that's what I felt. So I said, okay, I'm gonna now do this excellent job. And I started to make a little bit more consistent profits, but I still wasn't getting the results that I want. Because here's the thing, when you do an excellent job, you only get great results. Which may be, like maybe that's what people aspire to is that if I can just make a little bit of money, then I'll be okay. And I gotta tell you, when I started to make a little bit of money and started to get a little consistent, that did feel really great because I had come from a previous 12 months of not making any. And so that seemed really good. However, I still felt not completely fulfilled in my trading. Like they were still not getting the results that I wanted to get. In fact, when I looked at my mentor's results, I was like, that's what I wanna get. I wanna get those results. I wanna be getting the results that my mentor is getting. And this is what he said to me. He said, Alfonso, if you wanna get the results that I'm getting, you can't be good, you can't be great, you can't be excellent. What you need to do is be outstanding. Now this may also seem like verbiage to many of you out there. And if you're thinking that way, what I'm gonna tell you is that you're thinking the wrong way about your trading. Because you might be trying to default back to, just tell me another indicator, just tell me you know, exactly what an R is, and, and that, then I can go ahead and apply that really quickly, and then by next week I can be rich. Again, it doesn't work that way. And so what he said to me was that you need to be outstanding in everything that you do in your trading. And he substituted the word outstanding for consistent. If you are consistent in everything that you do in your trading, including risk and trade management, you, un you now don't go down and get excellent results. When you do outstanding, you get all the results. All the results. In other words, you are now in that top 10% of traders that make those consistent profits. And he said, Alfonso, that is what I do. I am consistent and outstanding in everything that I do, and I get all the results. While everybody else, the other 90% of traders out there, do either a good, great, or an excellent job. And so, I want you to think about that in a different way. And really ask yourself, if you had to take all of your trading are you really doing an outstanding job in all areas? Or are you really focusing more on one area of your trading, like learning a new indicator or learning more about the market, rather than being outstanding in all areas? And so in the next segment, we're actually gonna start talking about how to understand risk management and utilizing the R. But I wanted to end this segment with really challenging each and every one of you to really think about that, and are you really living at that outstanding level in all areas of your trading? Thanks.